Mafia 2 is a third person action crime game. It's set in the 40s and 50s in a fictional city called Empire Bay. And we follow this guy, Vito Scaletta, and his best buddy Joe on their journey into a life of organised crime. <laughs> Don't kill me! The game is a really cinematic experience. Our goal is really to sort of put the player sort of as the central character in a Goodfellas type story. And I think we, we hit the nail right on the head for achieving that. In our game, we make use of the physics technology by NVIDIA in a lot of different ways. It pushes around many different things in our game. And the most impressive area that people are going to see the game uses is obviously the destructibilities in the environment. For an open world game, it really is impressive what we're doing and the amount of destructibility the player can do. You can shoot out tires on vehicles, you can shoot glass bottles off table, you can smash entire tables, smash down doors. With the full NVIDIA experience, we're able to deliver things like debris sort of piling up on the floor and stuff like that. We have great cloth simulation brought to us by Apex, which is amazing. And one of the most iconic things that Mafia guys wear in the 40s and 50s is these big sort of flowing trench coats, you know, and the way they move is, is really important to us, that it moves, looks really realistic. By using physics, we're able to create these really dramatic sort of explosions from blowing up a car where you'll see sparks bounce off objects. The ricocheting off weapons, you know, you'll see bullets fly out of the casing of the gun, you'll hear the casing sort of hit the floor. And all these things have been driven by physics.